Hey everybody, welcome back to Okami. Sorry for the little cut there. You didn't miss much, just no dialogue and stuff. Anyway, the eight signs of Orochi appeared. And thus... They form... An arrow. Huh? Asabuya, it's time! Nice catch. Oh boy. This ain't good. Ugh. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the cursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. This isn't good at all. Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi, you're not going to... I'm bored, shut up. Whoa. Behold, my thunder brew! Yeah, now we get it. The great Naji intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? No, Kushi, wait! Depressing times indeed these are. Better go after her. You okay, sweetie? Don't try to stop me, Isun, or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's so much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yes, Isun. I guess I'm crazy. That's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going. I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Guess we're going with her. Not you too, Ami. Dang it, why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Oh, don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, with that, I'm going to fix the camera. Stupid camera. Ugh, I hate this thing. Well, I don't hate the camera. As a matter of fact, I love the camera. I hate the setup I have for it. Being a remote that doesn't even work on this TV. Yeah, great, I know, right? It doesn't even work, I don't think. Anyway, run into a wall. Yeah, great plan. Don't run that way. Alright, make your way toward the moon cave. Figures there's a guy there blocking the way. I'm gonna try and avoid as many battles as I can here. I should be able to do that with some ease. Whoa! Oh, there it is. Down here. It's 
place does not look like a friendly place to be. Hey, is that? Waka. I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you have big profit. He opens up the gate. The serpent crystal. That's the serpent crystal. He stole from us. Oh, there goes the barrier. That's nice to know. Thank you, Waka. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your parts. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. I don't think so. What the? Oh boy, this cannot be a good thing. What the? Whoa! Hits me, takes Couché. Couché, Couché, and we run in after her. What the? Hey! Why you? What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Hmm. Does the saying, like a moth to the flame, ring any bells? I meant you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. <laughs> Dang it, looks like we've been set up again, Ami. But you're not planning to enter the cave anyway, Machete. It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look! The moon! The moon came out! Uh... Fruity much? Eh. <laughs> Pardon, Machete. That wasn't a very good one. Au revoir! No baby? Jerk. Bah! Guess we're stuck here. But we were planning on taking care of that orchy anyway. Cut it out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Uh, we just walked through the barrier. I'm not gonna lie. I think the reason this game was so cheap is because... Hello. I think the reason this game was so cheap was because it's really an incredible game, but some of the stuff that happened in it, like, if you notice, there was a real big audio glitch there in that cutscene. But, uh, no time to talk about that now. We're gonna have to end this off. So, next time on Okami, we're gonna be exploring the Moon Cave. Till then, ShadowJohn77, John for short.